The House of Representatives Committee on Renewable Energy has summoned the Minister of Power, Budget Planning and Economic Development, including ministries, departments and agencies, MDAs, culpable to appear before it on Wednesday. Chairman of the Committee, Honorable Afa Mogene, gave the ruling in Abuja following the absence of these ministers and heads of agencies concerned at the commencement of a two-day investigative hearing on government investment and grants received for renewable energy development from 2015 till date. In his ruling, Honorable Logene vowed that the committee remains determined to get to the root of the investigation. We are not after any individual or particular agencies, but they must come to answer to the parliament. If they have been uh, lackadaisical in handling other committees, this is a different committee. We will take it a little easy because today is the first day of the hearing. By tomorrow, I don't think that uh, we will be this lax in dealing with people that we have invited over time. This process started since June, and there is no organization so summoned that have not received, in the minimum, three letters from this committee. Earlier, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas, while declaring the hearing open, said the hearing is not in any way meant to witch hunt anybody, but rather to identify challenges and proffer solutions to solving renewable energy challenges in the country. The Speaker spoke uh, through the Chief Minority Whip of the House, Honorable Ali Issa, and further charged MDAs and stakeholders at the hearing to be transparent in their contributions. I commend the committee for its commitment to overseeing the sector and ensuring that the investment may serve the public interest. Since 2015, Nigeria has attracted billions of dollars in grants and investment into renewable uh, energy. These funds were intended to revolutionize our energy infrastructure, reduce our dependency on fossil fuel and untimely address, uh, address our pressing electricity challenges. However, despite this considerable investment, access to stable and reliable electricity remain a struggle for many or all Nigerians. Our goal is to better understand how the parliament can support the renewable energy sector in a way that drives real measurable change. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.